this is um, looking at the actual uh, root data, the timetable data, and starting to look for errors in the timings. Now, of course, it's highly geographical, um, mm. in but it's relating time to space. So um, this is starting to suggest that where you've got very fast um, links between uh, over certain sections of route, there's probably something wrong in the data, something very slow. Um, and uh, so these do actually link back, all back to maps. So um, if we look at this, um, well, we'll keep it in Scotland. We look and we've got 128 fast timing sections. Um, so this um, look, still <laughs> not used to your mouse for connecting, but um, it will list each of them, and then we can go to see the map of um, where each of those are, and uh, the local authority can start to see which section is the is the problem. Um, it's still connecting. It's, uh, it's waiting for them to come back. Um, but the uh, it also has to do with making sure there are not duplicates in the data. Um, the data is coming from different sources, um, and uh, part of the job nationally. I think I'll put that again. We choose one with. Uh, we'll go to the northwest and choose one with rather fewer. Um, there we are. <laughs> the yeah, it just looks like it just got frozen on so Yeah, that's really right. wrong. But um, it lists the uh, um, the actual particular fast timing section, uh, seventy mile an hour over four kilometres, indicating in red where it's detected that, and. Um, and enabling you here to, to see, you can see the link between the map and the um, uh, the, the sections there. Um, uh, I've seen available um, in recent time, um, not actual analysis, but uh, seen a couple of maps with real time yeah. showing of the buses and trains. And yes, yes, I think. Um, endeavouring to get that link from th this is obviously more behind the scenes mm -hmm. um, helping explore whether the data is uh, is correct that goes into those systems yeah. because <laughs> I'm afraid it is rubbish in rubbish out if yeah, uh, um, and I think so a lot doing the, the underground didn't they do the undergrounds and then you yeah. release that after all right the yeah, yes because that data is now available but this this data set it, they're working on data for the whole of the UK here right. um, and this is pretty up-to-date data uh, generally refreshed each week um, and uh, of course the question would be if this could be the, the big debate is whether this could be made open data uh, is, is, that they, is, is this they're worried about like terrorism or no 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 the, the debate is um, is been Partly bringing the bus, bringing the transport operators round to the view that um, it would be in a, their overall interest mm. to have this data available. Um, uh, a few years ago, they were they were on the, the idea of um, perhaps, uh, oh wow, people might want to buy the data. You know, we, we sold off the bus <laughs> station, we made money there, and this is the next um, um, source of income. But they're realizing that they get their income, or they've been persuaded, they get their best income from people paying fares. And um, this, the release of this data would only help them to get more, um, more uh, use of that. There's concerns about uh, what would happen if the data is released and people then publish things without going back to the source to keep things up to date. And that's, that's a, a, a reason for uh, then needing to be reassured. Does, does this data feed into the uh, systems that you have on bus stops in urban areas where you've got the time of the next bus and such like? Exactly, yes. So I yes. take it apps on phones yes. are yes. similar driven as well? They come from the same data, that's right. So um, 
I mean, this is looking at. Uh, we don't have those things in Rosa. Swear. Well, we do. <laughs> you do. Um, but, but this is the this is the analysis to prove that, which goes back to the originating data, and they sort of say, uh, "This is wrong, and this is correct." But we're not. They're, they're not. Are you actually changing the data in here? No, the data. Is goes back to the local th authorities usually, yeah, and then or the they bus send operator source. They send you the next week's update, next, and this then then this will look at the next week's update right. and check that whether things are uh, are resolved. Yes, yeah. that's the way it works. Yeah, yeah, data yeah. quality. Yeah, we can show that but there is there is something which may I think I've perhaps uh, made it to work too hard by zooming out. Um, I'll zoom back in again. Um, there's something which would be of, I think, uh, very much geographical interest here. Um, um, all the link of Bezier curves and um, weird uh, all services, that's okay. Um, let's see whether I find any. Um, what this is. Is it frozen again? Is it I wonder if it needs to reload or work? It's still on the Electron Club. Um, right. So I wonder so if it might be doing something. Up, um, yes. Will you refresh with the thumb steps? Uh, <laughs> that would refresh? Um, you need to go. Try, give it a try. Um, the point is that it's, it, it's quite cleverly using the idea of the bearing of the bus stop. We know the direction mm -hmm. of the bearing of the bus stop. We know where the route is heading. Mm -hmm. And um, if suddenly, uh, the, 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 by taking, rather than linking the stop to stop with a straight line, it's linked with the Bezier curve drawn out by those bearings, then we can, we can see if we have any which are um, um, looped, looped out. Uh, creating a, um, a, uh, a, a a strange shape um, which is then usually colored red but I think I might actually be in slightly the wrong section here um, if I uh, just go back to um, uh, to choose a choose a Well, right. I'll take a slightly different tack and get to <laughs> get back. Just if, if I mean, is this interesting? Is this all right to to to, to what uh, you'd want to hear? Um, having just located a stop, then for any stop, you can see what um, routes are serving from that stop on those we could click on any of those to see more information about it the route we can see the actual departures the times for that particular stop that route and the other routes are all listed uh, down below as well and we can see a map of the um, Waiting to refresh the base. <laughs> I was on the background, <laughs> but the, from the stop here, if you ignore the street crew view, from the stop here, it's the blue lines are indicating the the where the services from that stop actually go. Um, but that does seem a bit strange. I think I don't think we would see. It. It overlaid in Open Open Street Map. We'd only see that where that location was in Open Street Map at the moment. But um, but this is showing listing the destinations here. You'll see, and it's um, say tell you which bus number you need to go to. Um, and um, right. So we don't have it in Rothsey. Is that right? But we could uh, just. Um, <laughs> You can just. That's uh, fine, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Could, uh, 
Oh. Yes. That's it. Good, good, yes, right. Okay. Um, <coughs> so the we call the locality of, of Rothsay. Um, which uh, is um, so um, looks a little bit wild with a bus stop there facing southwards. So, but there may be two stops just beside there. So that's a bit strange. I'm going to click on that. Um, partly there's something that's caught my eye, but also um, ah well that's explanation. There's a some bus stops in the side road as well. The bus stops on the main road. Um, so taking the one that the bus stop that's heading out of the uh, the town, we can do the same thing um, to see the the lines that would serve it in that direction. The testing of the local knowledge would would support uh, yeah. this being reasonably accurate or not. Um, the the timetables of those services look like the 490 is a that's more the the main service there. Um, I'm all, I'm almost certain that there was a paper given to us not last year but a couple of years ago at Carter Conference where this information was loaded into JC Devro, is it the bus stop manufacturers, and it's live. It, it gives information at every bus stop. Somebody had created a an app where it brought all this information together and yes. it was printing out individual maps for each bus stop. There was something as well, if you knew the, bar the barcode or the number of the bus stop, you could type into your phone and it would tell you where the next bus was. Yes, the, the, the various things, I mean, I think you're, you're probably referring to, uh, I mean, we've still got the map problem here, but uh, <laughs> you're probably referring to this, um, um, I mean, th this one is producing um, no, this isn't the timetable one, but this is creating um, posters. So, um, um, so you can see the effect of a of a. Um, oh, this is this is one in Birmingham. I've, I've gone on to. Is that right? But uh, effectively, you can preview the poster. You 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 you, you decide where anywhere you want a poster for for the public transport. You. Um, you have a, 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 a option to choose exactly which stops you would like to be included in that poster by adjusting these sort of things and uh, um, um, taking in more if you if you thought you wanted to um, getting oh I've missed out the services but it, effectively it's doing the same sort of thing you're choosing. Uh, you can you can um, decide which should be should be on your poster. Choose a style. Um, currently on that one uh, and the layout. Um, but effectively, you then go to preview and um, and it calculates from the latest data, not from the historical data. It calculates the. Um, um, Poster display. The LTI is the one that this this is working on. The roadside information would do more of just a listing for the actual stop, um, whereas this is producing a um, a a map for the for the area. Um, who who's able to generate that sort of? Is that for the local authority to generate, or the bus operator, or? Yeah, How does the whole thing work? Who subscribes to this? Is it this this one is is generally um, the roadside are made available to local authorities to. Uh, to so do they subscribe to it? They pay subscribe to, they to, pay it, pay yes, to That's it. right. Yeah. And what's been involved in? I'm intrigued. To what's been involved in getting the local authorities and bus companies to provide all this information to you? Because uh, um, huge amount of data. Are they are they obligated to provide this information to? 
the bus operators are required to supply it to the local authorities. Mm -hmm. right. the, the regulation required them to register a service. With the local authority. But then from the local authority to this? Persuasion. Is it? Uh, and that's actually my, my role. Right? <laughs> um, going around the local authorities, they, they've been generally gathered together into uh, um, regions to work yeah. together. To submit to... I mean, Scotland, I the, the, the Scottish government actually puts quite a bit of money into yeah. it to, to encourage that. And who, it, ITO is the organisation they submit that to who run this thing. Is no, that what it's called? Uh, they're, they're independent, yeah. independent company. Yeah. 